everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Dr. Musselstein, and today I'm going to show you how to use the walker on steps. And as you can see, he's saying stop. Make sure you know how to do it correctly before you get up. So step one, move your Musselstein out of the way. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So as you can see, I followed step one and moved Mo out of the way. But in all seriousness, Mo represents dogs, cats, any kind of pets, little children, grandchildren, clutter on your steps. So especially if you're doing this at home, make sure you have a clear way to get up and down your steps. A lot of times, you know, if you're out somewhere, maybe there's not a ramp you can go up and down, but always use the ramp if you can. Use the safest way to get somewhere. But if that's not an option, I'm gonna show you a way to do it. Um, if there's a railing, definitely always use this with the railing. Don't try and go up without the help of a railing because you always want that extra stability there. So the biggest thing with going up and down steps with a walker is to make sure you've got it as stable as possible. And what I mean by that is make sure it's set in place before you push down to use it to push up. A quick also reminder um, that are in some of my other videos about how to go up and down the steps with a bad leg if you have a bad side and you're using it with your walker, maybe like you've had a hip replacement or something like that, you always want to go up with the good and down with the bad. And so that's basically just so you can use your good side as a powering up motion. And then when you go down with the bad, you're still using that good side to kind of lower you down that step. So up with the good, down with the bad. So the easiest way to do the going up and down the steps with a walker is once you get up to the steps, Hopefully there's a railing there that you can kind of hold on to if you don't have somebody to help you out. Then what you're gonna do is kind of, I usually grab in the middle, you don't have to, you can kind of come around to the side, but I feel like if you're holding on to the railing, you're gonna turn it away from where the railing is. So that's what you're gonna do and then kind of hold on right here. Then you wanna lift up the, the side that's in front of you here and put it on the first step. So you can see then it's stable back here and it's stable up here. But before you take that step, push on your walker to make sure it's not either gonna roll away or slide back down on the step, depending on maybe if you have carpet on your steps that it's in a nice solid spot. So I'm still holding onto that rail. So now I'm holding onto the rail and I have a spot here. So then I'm gonna go up with my good. And so let's say my left side is my good side. Then I'm gonna put the step here and then push up. So I don't have a lot of room on this step to show you, but I'll go on some stairs so I can show you how to, once you get going, that you can do it. But always make sure you're going slow and steady. Don't try and rush yourself up the steps or down the steps because what's gonna happen then is you're gonna get going too fast and maybe get um, unstable and slip and fall. But always make sure and check each time you start bringing it up that it's nice and stable so you can take that step, hold onto the rail, and step on. All right, we'll take it to the stairs. So as you can see, I'm at the bottom of my steps. The railing's on this side. So if I was rolling up to my steps, I'd kind of stop at the end here and then grab onto the railing. Once I grab onto the railing, I'm gonna move that walker away from the railing. And that's just so I can have more room over by the railing in case I need some more support. So I'm just gonna then turn it and bring it up to the edge. So I'm still gonna say my left side is my strong side. So I'm gonna come up towards as close as I can get to the steps and then I'm gonna take the edge of the walker here and bring it up on the step. So before I go, I wanna push on it to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. And then once I have that, I'm gonna go up with my good and power up. So depending on how long your steps are, when you start actually going up the steps, mine's pretty close. So it's right on the edge. So this again is where you want to take your time and make sure and push down for that stability. So even if it's not actually on that step, if you're pushing at that angle towards into the step, where it's in that, that crevice or that crack right there, even if it's not touching on the end, it's gonna give me that stability. And then I'm gonna power up again and then bring it up. So again, just going really slow and taking your time, not trying to go up fast, because each time you wanna push on that to make sure it doesn't slide back on you. So go slow and be safe. So it's still kind of the same concept going down. So I'll show you going down as well. 
So I know you can't see my face, but I really wanted you to get a good look at how the walker set up going down because going down is always a little bit scarier. You can see how the front part of the walker that's closest to you is right on that edge there. But if you're pushing weight on the top into that little corner here of the steps, that's what's going to be stable. So then holding onto the rail, now you're going down with the bad. So if my right side was the bad side, then I'm going down, stepping two, and then moving that walker. Again, getting it nice and set up, nice and solid, pushing to make sure it's not going to slip before, and then stepping down, and then once I am safe and feel comfortable, then I can move it again. So as you can see, it's a slow process. You want it to be a safe process because you don't want to end up tumbling down the steps with you and the walker in tow. So there you have it. That's how to use a walker on stairs. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe on the steps. Have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.